Hello. This is the first of probably a three part series of upgrading the audio on my van. So I've got here some replacement speakers to go in the door. Uh, just going to go in the door panel just here and replace the factory ones. Um, and then it also comes with some little tweeters that will go up in the dash. Because um, I think notoriously the, the sprint and the craft of the, uh, the, the audio system is just it's not that great. So today I'm going to install the door speakers and then I've also got some other speakers to, to add to the, uh, to the cab. Um, to try and improve the sound and then I've also got some that are going to go uh, in the back doors so I'm going to split into three parts I think so this doesn't become one massive long video so subscribe if you're new here and press the notification bell just so that you uh, you get notified when the parts two and three come out um, and any videos in the future as well so anyway let's get cracking okay so the first step is to get the door card off so I'm going to use this plastic um, trim tool and um, it's always good to use plastic rather than metal because it won't damage the, pla the, uh, the plastic trim of the door card. The danger is if you use a screwdriver or something you'll end up leaving a dent in the plastic. So I'm going to start off with this, this piece of trim that goes around the, um, around the door pull, around the, the door opener. Um, so I'll shove that in there and, and get this off. Okay, so that bit just, just pulls off. Uh, and behind there, there's a couple of torque screws um, that will need to uh, need to come out so that this part of the door card will come off. So I'm just going to use a, a Torx a T30 bit to uh, to take these two take these two screws out. Okay, so they're loose, but they're inside the. Uh, inside the hole, so I've just got to be careful when I take the pounds off not to lose the bolts when they uh, when they come out. So next up I'm going to get these, um, there's some little covers up the top here, um, I'm just going to go those out. I'm going to use a screwdriver because it's they're quite difficult to get out. Normally I want to use the plastic trim tool but for these they're just, it's a bit tight. So there you go, that's one of the trim pieces out. I don't know if you can see but this is the danger of using um, plastic trim tools, uh, sorry, metal on plastic, is that you can end up leaving a dent um, in, the, uh, in, the, in the piece. That's the other one out as well. So it's going to swap over to a smaller Torx bit, because this one's a different size. So yeah, these top ones are a T20 Torx bit. So again, that's one of the bolts out. Now I like to put these in the cup holder in the dash. I find it's quite a safe place to put them. Um, I'm not going to lose the bolts then. And then next off, I need to uh, I need to undo this um, this cover down here. And this just pops off. There we go. It's got a bottle of brake fluid in there. Um, yeah, and these are just clipped onto these uh, to these down here. So we'll put that to one side. And then again, there's another couple of uh, another couple of screws down here to undo. So I'm just using a, um, uh, a ratchet screwdriver, so you can turn it. Um, I find it much quicker, and you can swap the uh, swap the bits and they go in the end. So I've had this for years. I got it from Halfords, which is a brand in the UK. If you're if you're over in the US or somewhere else, but I find them really useful to unscrew unscrew bolts and screws. It's much quicker. So again, both my screws are in here. So I just need to be careful when when taking this out. Um, that I don't lose the screws onto the floor, same as these two. So next again I'm using my plastic trim tool just to work around the outside of the panel. Oh, there's a um, there's a plastic cover up that goes around the, around the locking pin, um, so I need to take that off. So there we go, that just, uh, that just slides up, hopefully you can get a good look at that. 
so it gives me a bit of wiggle room off the top here with the panel. So it's going to run my trim tool around the side of the panel. See if I can get it to pop off. Okay, so my plastic trim tool is just not really cutting it. It's, it's, there's too much flex in it. So I've also got this this snap-on trim tool, which is similar in that it's got a little um, hook fork on it. Um, but it is made of metal, so I'm a bit wary of damaging paintwork and and uh, plastic with it. But it's got a bit more force behind it to get these uh, to get these plugs out. There we go. So you hear that pop? There we go. It's one of the bolts has just fallen out of the door. And the other one's now rattled itself, but to be more accessible as well. just fallen out onto the floor and the other one got caught in the door pocket. So the door card is now fairly loose so I'll just position you guys so you can have a look behind the door. So here we go we've got the, the door release cable and that needs to come out and also the uh, the, the, the cable for the um, for the electric windows. So that one just pulls out and then this cable yeah, it's a bit difficult doing this one-handed. A bit awkward. There we go. I've just prized it loose. And then... And then this bit just unclips out of this yellow clip here. So that's the door card off and we'll put this to one side. So here we are, the inside of the door. I'm going to take the speaker off. Um, it's a bit dusty in here because the, the previous owner was a uh, was a carpentry firm. They used to do cabinet making and stuff, and the van's got this full of dust. Even though after owning it for four years, I'm still finding dust on bits that I haven't taken apart yet. So, anyway, it's a T20 Torx again. And you can see how this ratchet screwdriver just makes life so much easier. Um, let's put that up in the put that up in the uh, cup holder. You can see now why I didn't put them in the door pocket because the door pocket's not here anymore. Before I undo this last bolt, I'm going to unplug the speaker. There we go. And then this is the last screw to come out. There we go. That's the, the factory speaker now out. It's not particularly powerful. The magnet on it is pretty small. Um, so hopefully with this upgrade we'll, uh, I'll have a, a noticeable difference. So here we go, here's the new speaker. This is what's going to go in the door and already you can see the difference in the um, in the size of the magnets and just hopefully how much difference this is going to make. Um, they're about, they're roughly the same size. I think the, the new ones are slightly, slightly bigger in diameter. Um, but yeah, let's see how this fits. So I've also bought mounting rings for these as well to space the speaker off of the door. Um, I must admit, I'm not too sure how these actually fit onto the door. So uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of investigation and just work this out, I think. Okay, so I've worked it out. The, the two holes at the top here are actually wider than the two holes at the bottom. They're not equally spaced. Um, and that matches the, the door, um, the fixings on the door. So actually, that goes into the original fixings and then my speaker will screw into that. So I've retrieved my uh, my black bolts out of the um, out of the door pocket. Uh, sorry, out of the cup holder. Uh, I'm now going to um, put these back on. So change my screwdriver to tighten rather than loosen. So I'm just going to fix this onto the door now. So 
So I just like to do things up loosely to start off with, because otherwise, if you go too tight, you don't get any adjustment. There's no wiggle room. So I'll just do all these loosely and, you know, just get a couple of turns on them before um, before going too tight with them. Um, just so I've got a bit of play. I want to get all four bolts in. There we go. So they're all just sort of just in there. And just move this panel around until I'm happy with it and then I can tighten this up. So I'm not going to go too tight with it because I can see it's slightly deforming. So I think that's enough just to keep it on there. And now I've got my speaker and that should just go in the hole hopefully. Are you doing well? Uh, so this foam is slightly in the way, so I'm just going to grab a knife and I'm just going to cut, just going to cut that bit out. So here we go, got my knife. I'm just going to follow around the hole. So there we go, that's that hole cut out. Let's see if this speaker will fit. Not the greatest fit in the world, I must admit. I think. I think I'm going to have to modify the spacer ring ever so slightly because the uh, these support brackets of my of my speaker are actually rubbing against the um, against the 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 ring, the spacer ring. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this out on camera. Sorry, off camera. Um, and then just make some notches in here with a tool, um, and uh, and then come back to you because you don't, you know, could be here for ages. So you don't want this to be a, an hour-long video of me notching out some plastic. So give me a minute, and I'll come back. Okay, so I've made the uh, made the adjustment. I've determined actually it was because um, these uh, mountain holes on the uh, on the spacer ring aren't equally um, equally spaced. That actually one of them was interfering with the. Uh, the support bracket so I've just had to cut that I've used um, I've used a pair of pliers um, just used a pair of pliers to you know wire cutters to um, uh, to cut that off because the plastic was soft enough that it just went through quite easily and then I just filed it to make it smooth so um, I'll remount this and then I'll get the uh, get the speaker in So there we go, speaker rings back on, space rings back on. So let's see if this will uh, this will line up now. There we go, it's a much better fit this time. So all I've got to do now is find the screws in the kit and then uh, screw this on. But first, I need to add some wires. That could have been a fun mistake. Crucial schoolboy error. So that's in the way. That's on. Um, that's on. So yeah, gotta to, gotta to sort out the wires that go to the speakers now. So this was the original the original van wiring. Um, so I've got I've got a little crossover that needs to uh, needs to go in here as well. So this gets added to the wiring for the for the main speaker, um, and all this does is it separates the high frequencies from the low frequencies. Um, so the tweeter doesn't get overpowered by the uh, by the lower the lower frequencies. Um, so yeah, so this is the little um, the little tweeter that's going to go in the dash. Um, so I need to connect these two together um, to replace the one that uh, comes out the factory. So I'll get the wiring done. Um, all I'm going to do basically is just uh, cut the original socket um, and crimp this one onto it. Um, so you know it's it's all fairly straightforward. I'm I'm not going to show you it because um, I think the video will just become too long. Um, so I'll um, I think what I'll do I'll get this mounted. And then I'll run some wires up through the uh, through the plastic boot here, um, up into the uh, up into the corner of the um, corner of the dash. And I think that's where we'll pick off pick up because you know running cables it's it's fairly straightforward. Um, it's just a case of taking the band apart a bit, 
um, running the cable where you want it and then putting the band back together again so you should be able to figure that out for yourself there's plenty of people that have done this as a video um, so I'm not going to go too too in depth to it because otherwise um, otherwise we'll be here all day um, I did just want to give a quick shout out to uh, to my friend Paul um, who is the owner of Hab Campers so this is the t-shirt that I'm wearing um, I'm not sponsored by him obviously he's just my friend um, but he does uh, interior conversions for uh, medium sized camper vans so if you're in the market for you know having your van converted and you uh, you want to um, have a word with him about you know he does some beautiful work so if you're not quite up you know if you're not quite up for doing your own conversion or you feel like you're not skilled enough and that you're going to be worried about the outcome of it just give him a shout just look him up on instagram or have a look at his website i'll put a link in the in the description below just so you can find him because yeah like i say he's a good friend of mine but also his work's amazing so yeah i just want to give a quick shout out to him anyway We'll go up into the dash next after I've done all this wiring and uh, I'll see you in a second. I've got the door speaker in place and I've got that wired up. Um, just one thing to note when you're doing it um, is if you're using a drill um, or an impact driver or something, just be incredibly careful that the, the end of your um, drill doesn't actually slip and go through the cone. Um, I made sure to like hold onto the screw and the end of the driver so I had complete control, but it's just something to be aware of when you're doing it. Just you know, make sure that because the last thing you want is for that to go through the speaker. I've rigged up an action camera here off my steering wheel just to um, point down into the uh, into the corner of the um, into the corner of the dash, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, hopefully that's that's useful. So I'm going to start off with my plastic trim tool again. So I'm just going to remove the, um, the speaker grill that goes on top of the on top of the speaker. So there we go. It's just just come off now so that's fairly straightforward straightforward so i'm just going to put that to one side so next i'm just going to take this trim panel off hopefully i don't knock my camera when i do it but uh it's, it's only held on with with clips so let's just give this a go there we go just work your way down nice and gentle don't have to be too violent with it oh knock the camera i knew that would happen there we go i normally just tend to leave this on the dash because it's convenient and so I can see now there's a couple of um, a couple of torque screws just here and here. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get those out. So there we go. That one's just come loose now. And again, I'm just going to put these in the um, put these into the cup holder. So there we go. Just loosening these off. Hoping you can see what I'm doing with this other camera angle. There we go. So that gives me a little bit of oh, this this belt seems to come out as well still mostly in one piece so that's good so that gives me a bit of a bit of working room to get this speaker out i'm not too sure how this comes out but i can see the plug so i can just see the see the plug under the speaker under here now and the plug to the right hand side here let's see if i can get this out there we go, the plug's just pulled off now. Now we've got, I think it's just some little clips for the, the speaker. It would be useful if I could get a bit more of this, a bit more of this dash panel to come up. I'm not too sure how it's held on. Okay, so that's the speaker out. So as you can see, this thing is absolutely tiny. Um, it's just held in with clips. All you've got to do is just prise the clips away. Um, and yeah, this thing is minute. So when you compare the sizes, when you compare the sizes of these two, um, you can see it's almost like night and day. So I'll just work out how to get this one, get this one fitted in now. I'm hoping that it will just clip in the same way. So this is Eva, she's been meowing because I've been working on the van and I've been making no fuss of her. We saw Chester in the last video, he's he's passed on now, but we still got Eva. She's a little princess really. <laughs> I'm coming out now. No, don't jump, don't jump. Yeah, good girl.
Come out now. You can't go there, I need to be there. There you go, good girl. Okay, so welcome back. A little bit's changed. I got a bit frustrated, turned the cameras off because this just was not going very well. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, I've taken this panel off. This is the bit on the dash that goes in front of the steering wheel on the driver's side, on the right-hand side in a UK vehicle. Um, because this Blam kit, it, it's got all various like um, adapters and things that come with it, but none of them seem to fit the hole. Um, so I've got one that sort of fits the space the best, um, but it doesn't sit in these clips. So what I think I'm going to have to do is just sort of wedge it in there and use a bit of super glue, I think, which is really not ideal. Um, but I think it's the best of what I can do, really. It's kind of frustrating. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to have to run a bit of super glue, I think, around the around the, the inside edge of the, um, the the flat mountain face. So so in here, I'm going to have to like run a bit of glue around there and then maybe a bit on each of the tabs that's meant to hold it in. So, you know, this, this tiny little speaker, I mean, you can see the size of the magnet on that, and, you know, it just clips in there. So yeah, that just sort of clips in. So you can see the three clips. That's what you just you literally just got to prise those away, and that's what um, uh, that's how the the factory one comes out. And then and then this one, yeah, it's just going to have to sort of sort of just fit in there like that, and then and then be glued in, which is frustrating and a bit disappointing. But with most of these things, you know, they're all sort of universal parts, and they don't um, they're not van specific. So it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, so just make the best of a not a bad situation, but um, you know, not not ideal. Less than ideal is probably the best way to put it. So I think what I'll do is I will get a bit of glue. I'm going to take that one off as well, um, and then glue them together, and then have to put the van back. So anyway, I'm going to do this. I'll do it off camera, I think, because you don't want to see me just gluing stuff. Um, so yeah, see you soon. I've done a lot of work off camera. I've fitted the passenger side, so I've got both. I've now got both door speakers in and both of the speakers that go into the windscreen. I've left the middle one connected because I don't see why it should be disconnected. I know a lot of people do it. Uh, maybe you could let me know in the comments as to why you know most people do it. Um, so I've got the little tweeters that are in that are now super glued into the panel. Um, it's a bit disappointing that that just didn't really fit when I um, when I bought these off a website. Um, they said it fitted a Sprinter and a, a Crafter, but. I just couldn't make them fit. So anyway, I've managed to glue them in. Um, the the wire colours are the same for both the the corner windscreen ones and the door. So I've put the the filter um, by the tweeter rather than mounting it in the door like some of the kits come with. Um, so I've listened to it. I can't really show it to you guys because of copyright, um, the joys of YouTube. Um, so and I I think there's a noticeable improvement. It's certainly louder. That's that's for certain. The quality, maybe it's okay. So I'll find that out when I come to drive it for the first time. Um, so I think I'm going to leave that, this one here for today. Um, I'm certainly starting to run out of daylight. It's taking me a lot longer than I would have liked. Um, I ended up having to take quite a lot of the dash apart, like these vent covers. I had to take these off um, to get the, the the dash tops to take those off to get the little tweeters in. Um, so if you need to do that, then all you've got to do is take this panel off. Um, this literally just pops off and um, take that off. There's two screws um, and, that, and this just like slides forwards and comes away. And then there's some there's four screws holding that on. You've got to take the, the vent um, the vent out that the demister for the windscreen um, and then that just comes away. So actually that was more um, easier than I was expecting. So that's good. Um, so in the next video, I've got some um, I've actually got some home theater surround sound speakers that I'm going to be installing in. In the cab here, so I'm thinking about um, putting them up above me, um, to because my my radio at the moment only has front. Um, there's no rear um, output, and there's no speakers for it. So I'm going to try putting some up there and just see how it goes. Um, somebody I spoke to um, last weekend said uh, that house speakers might not actually hold up um, as well as automotive speakers because of the uh, um, the cardboard. It's just not designed for the vibrations. So. You know, they're well expensive, they're second hand on eBay, so we'll just give it a go, see how it fits, and see how it does. Um, it might be that only lasts a year or two, but we'll see. Um, so, like I say, that's the end of this one. 
Um, the next part will be uh, installing those theatre ones, and then the third part of this will be uh, installing some Bluetooth speakers in the rear doors of the van, because um, we don't actually have any music in there at the back at the moment. So, yeah, sorry this has been a bit of a... I wanted to use a swear word then, but it hasn't been the most enjoyable experience for me. Uh, and I think it's just it's just the trials and tribulations of working on your van. But anyway, subscribe to the channel. Give me a like if you liked it. Leave a comment. Um, you know, anything that you think would be useful for other people um, to know, then, yeah, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much.